Hello ladies and gentlemen, James Billing here once again. It's not a music sound and stuff video today I'm afraid, but it is a piece of technical advice that I wish I had had a while ago. So today's video is, is how you can create a Windows bootable device on a flash drive if you run into a problem like this picture. Um, or, as in my case the first time round, because this happened a couple of times, um, I was trying to update. So a while ago, I was trying to update from Windows to 10. In fact, I even prepared a video um, to explain I was going to do this. So I'll either be crying or I'll be big smiles that I've actually updated it and it's still working. So I'm really, really hoping this works. Anyway, uh, keep your fingers crossed for me. But instead of a very simple process, it took days because the Windows Media Creation Tool at that time kept failing. And I just, yeah. I found a very, very neat shortcut of how to download Windows straight away without any problems. And that is what today's video is about. So um, let me show you. So what you will need to do, and this is my advice, I would do this now. I would do this if you haven't, so if you haven't got Windows on one of these or something that you can just put away in a nice little gold cabinet for a rainy day, um, do it now. Uh, do it now because it'll save you later. So what you do, so what you do, uh, go go to your um, browser, Windows 10, there we go, I've recently done it, so, or 11, okay, or whatever, whatever one you want, um, and you want the ISO file, okay? Now, what you then greet it with is the download tool now thing. So, uh, by all means do that, in fact I did do this for this. So what you do is you download the Windows creation tool, um, you, um, you then get an option to put it on an external flash drive. And I would do that, um, let the process run, and then put the flash drive somewhere safe, okay? But today's video is not about that. So today's video is really about the fact that I don't want to use the Windows Media Creation tool um, because I'm tired of it. What you need to do is you need to download it directly. And the easiest way to do that is uh, right click and you inspect okay and you get this funky box okay so what it's going to do is it's going to show you uh, this page this web page on in different ways and you want different ways because on other devices you can directly download it so if you just press that um oh it changes it okay because i'm viewing it on a mobile app or something um for me go to the ipad air version okay and if you refresh up here Um, here we go, you get select edition. Woohoo! Um, and that is that is it. Um, so Windows 10 multi edition, um, confirm. Um, you will get uh, the language, all of that. You choose your language and you download it, and it is yours for keeping. So this little trick saved me. I found out about it after about two days of tearing my hair out over Windows Media Creation Tool and doing everything under the sun that Windows suggested. But funnily enough, they did not suggest this. So that is why I am suggesting it, folks. I am I'm spreading the love. I am trying to save you time. So if you need that, that is the trick. Um, that is a direct download to wherever you want. Hooray. So hopefully if you get this picture, you've got a flash drive ready to go. You put it in and, and when you boot it up, you press F12 and then you choose your USB device to bounce it from, okay? So if you like this little trick, please, please smash that like button, um, likes help. So also feel free to subscribe and ring the bell and you'll be notified of anything else I do of interest. Anyway, uh, stay well, stay safe. See you soon, bye.